Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Chasing Psychological Safety. We have a rather positive message for once today, um, and that is because we think it's time that we begin positive, all of us. Um, it's not immediate time. We don't need to be jumping up and down and pulling out the confetti right away, but we are definitely coming towards the other side of this thing, much as 2021 doesn't lead us to believe that that's the case immediately. Um, we were saying in yesterday's article that it is time for team leaders, leaders of all kinds, and everyone in a team really with, with some type of, of uh, responsibility towards the, the fellow teammates and the good of the team to, to um, refocus around what is the light at the end of the tunnel, because there's plenty of it. And some of the, the very clear tangible things that we were proposing you focus on are Number one, this pandemic has made us more agile without a doubt. And that means that we are now a lot better equipped to deal with uncertainty, to work flexibly, to work in short bouts of productivity. Um, this pandemic has without a doubt proven the, the case of us being all productive and able to work remotely. That's an important net gain and net win. Another net gain and net win is the fact that we are now talking openly about us as teams, uh, who have and, and us as individuals who have a need for self-care and the discussion around empathy and our the way we feel and the way we react to each other and lastly and that again obviously is the vaccine and our ability to make more of it should it be necessary and obviously last but absolutely not least we have proven that we can and should now focus on on teams on groups on our ability to regenerate to be resilient and to take those gains further so the first one that we touched on, I'll, I'll expand on it a little bit, and then we can go into each of the other ones really briefly, um, is our ability to be agile. Loads of us had not even heard of what agile is before the pandemic, and many of us may not even know that we have become agile in the midst of this, but we have. One of the key principles of it is that you split work into smaller um, segments of it, if you wish, and that you apply yourself collaboratively to it. Um, so that you can see results faster and better. That's the main reason behind really building an agile mentality. And considering that we've all had to deal with what is essentially a really, really complicated um, and really uncertain and complex project, which is work from home in the middle of what could be an apocalypse, considering we've all applied ourselves to it, we have all become a lot more agile than we even recognize. We are now able to work um, with this uncertainty in this flexible manner. We are a lot more resilient because of it and the agility of it is something we should take forward. Absolutely. And the other one on our list for today is the great work from home experiment is no longer an experiment. You know, 2020 was the jumping off point for the great work from home experiment, but now it's here to stay and that is absolutely a net gain. It's a net gain for families, it's a net gain for businesses, it's a net gain for kids, it's a net gain for everybody involved. Our ability now to understand how to work flexibly is gonna be a huge competitive advantage for organizations going forward. And those that do embrace it will get the best talent, they will keep the best talent and they will have the most motivated staff. So be warned, if it's something that you're not intended to stick with, you may run into trouble. But the good news story here is that we need to realize that what we've been doing for the last nearly 12 months is not work from home. We've been working at home with kids. We've been working at home in a pandemic. What the future holds and the net gain is the fact that we have all the flexibility Duane just talked about, and the ability to work from home and the setup to work from home. But in the future, it will be a real work from home environment, which affords us the flexibility that we've really all been craving and seeking and are looking forward to enjoying. That sounds pretty positive. I'm, I'm excited about it. <laughs> for, uh, for avoidance of doubt, People Notech has always been a remote company and we've always been fortunate like that, but we're, we're excited to have everyone else see why it's, um, why it's amazingly fun in times of peace. Um, then another thing we were mentioning is a really big gain that we've mentioned over and over again of this period has been the um, openness of the dialogue concerning really big societal topics as well as um, individual level discussion on emotions, discussion on the need for empathy, discussion on the need for self-care and of care um, and of care for, for the team. All those big topics that used to be kind of the fodder of a Friday conversation or a once a year um, seminar are now on everyone's lips on a day-to-day -day basis and not considered unprofessional anywhere. There's, there's, there's almost, if you wish, a blanket permission slip from 
society and the world of work that we now talk about these topics. And that's something that we can and should remain really obsessed with so that we can take it forward and translate it into reducing something that we keep calling the human debt, which is all, all of that stuff we haven't yet done in terms of our, our, our employees. So remaining focused on the conversation on empathy, on EQ, on, on, on the happiness of our employees and the, the just nature of our society, all of those things have to stay in place. Um, we mustn't lose that very powerful gain we, we, we gathered out of, out of those horrible things. Absolutely. And finally, last but most definitely not least, you know, we're looking at the light at the end of the tunnel because we have a vaccine. We have amazing people who walk amongst us who have been able to, uh, out of nothing and in no time at all, create us something that is going to help us move beyond this pandemic. And that is the vaccine, the several vaccines that are now available with more to come. Uh, this is not just about the doctors, though. It's this is about the sorry, the scientists. This is about the um, everybody involved and the sheer resilience of human nature and our the human species and our ability to pull out of what has undoubtedly been one of the most horrific um, phases in human history. So I think there's absolutely a huge positive message there to be seen, and we're all so grateful for it. And I think the time will come when we'll be able to step back and reflect on how we all pull together genuinely. I know it's become a bit of a cliche, but we genuinely have all pulled together and how those geniuses amongst us, you know, really stepped up to the plate to create something special um, to help us move beyond this phase. But before we go, what do you what do we want you to do with this? This is a lovely message. We wanted to really have a, a positive moment. You know, we're wanting to look to the net gains. We're wanting to look to the future as an organization and wanting our clients to do the same thing. As team leaders, as always, we want you to obsess about psychological safety. It's the most important thing in a team. The way that we see this being part of that is if you're doing your team relaunches, which is now is the time to be doing those re launching your team, boosting your team, kickstarting your team, have this conversation. Look for examples of resurgence after times of crisis in the past. Use those examples to inspire your team. So research them together uh, and use everything we've talked about today to set the tone for how you can pull out of this future with a huge advantage as a team. Thanks very much for listening and we we'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye.